Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey loves and welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me in this decorate with me. So we'll be using these two sticker books and this amazing washing. Um, so this week I decided to jump back into my mom life mini happy planner because it has the dashboard layout and with that I was super inspired to use this new empowered woman sticker book because it had stickers that will cover up that top section um, because I well one I'm not planning in this planner but it's my goal to still take all of the planners that I have and show you how to decorate functionally um, in each one of your planners whether it's a happy planner classic mini faith planner travels notebook you name it I want to make sure that I'm able to show you how I would use it even though I'm not using it just to show you how I would decorate it if I was going to use it as my actual planner so paired with the empowered woman sticker book I had to use this new um, set of washi that I got from um, Simply Gilded. It was a collaboration that she did with Teresa Collins. And you guys, the washi itself is beautiful, but just the quotes that are on the washi, I just thought it was a no brainer to pair it with the Empowered Woman. Just because I think we are, well, I know we're in our planners a lot, and we need to make sure that we're always using positive affirmations um, and things like that so we can stay motivated and focused and the washi talks about being focused working hard and staying humble and then some of these stickers that are in the empowered woman sticker book are so empowering <laughs> so i really thought that the pairing of the two was again a no-brainer and you know, my sister, Lisa Mack from Planning and Praying, and my other sister, Shea Budges, they both spoke about this. And I truly believe that I should speak on it as well. As a community, whether it's a community of planners, entrepreneurs, sisters, whatever the case may be, we need to learn how to support each other, even when we are doing the same thing. It is enough room at the table for all of us to do what we do. We all have different audiences, different customers, different clients. It's enough people in the world, whereas um, suppliers of goods and services, it's enough consumers to go around. So let's continue to empower one another instead of com competing in bringing each other down. And this spread, I feel like it is a true declaration of empowerment and camaraderie. So I found this really cute um, box sticker in the Empire Woman sticker book and I wanted to use a gold colorful box of sticker. And I went through all three of my sticker books and lo and behold, I did not have any um, this size. So I remember the technique that um, one of my fellow YouTubers had did. Um, I wanna say it's planning with Bumble, um, but she just cut out around the border of the empty space and use that to um, 
create the layering effect so I went ahead and did it again I think I did this in one of my spreads before um, but I think it's time for me to get another colorful box of sticker book like do they even still make this one like the new one huh, I kind of used it but I'm still not impressed is nothing like the original colorful boxes sticker book and I need to get more gold so what I decided to do was to kind of make it like a frame and put this box inside of it and it worked perfectly um, so that's a little pro tip um, if you run out of stickers um, that you need in regards to like box stickers use your exacto knife cut around the shape and use that in your spread um, so I decided to move this washi because it was too pretty to just put in the washi sticker grave um, so I just moved it down at the bottom of this sticker um, so I was really 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 um, having a hard time with this um, particular planner because I didn't like how it had that um, I don't know what it is like a little splash at the bottom left side I mean the bottom right side of the left sheet like I don't know why they put that right there I mean it's just in the way especially if it doesn't make your match your spread and then it's like right there where the hole punches are so whatever you place right there you're gonna have to cut into it so you can still put your sheets back on the disc but y'all know your girl we I always find a way so you know sorry Shay I'm deeming you the whiteout police I had to use the whiteout right there I had to use a lot of whiteout so I could put this beautiful sticker and I know I could have put this in the um, happy planner hole punch but it wasn't worth it just for one sticker um, and I feel that I'm pretty handy with my exacto knife so I just went ahead and cut that spot out so and trimmed it up with the scissors a little bit so it can pop right back into my spread, well, into my planner. Now this washi right here, this washi right here <laughs> is giving me life because I don't know what happened. Like once I started planning, my colors and pattern choices just evolved and I'm loving this black and white stripe with the pink heart with the gold trim around it and the wording. And I, I would say I strategically pick those three um, uh, hearts, the 24-7 goals focus because it went with the kind of theme of the spread, but I can't take the credit. That's just what was the first things to pop off the roll. Um, so now what I'm doing is because I don't want to use any of the color that came on this particular um, week. So I'm using these amazing 
dot stickers that are in the journaling sticker book. You guys, at first I was sleeping on the journaling and the journal doodle sticker book, but they got some gems in there. You hear me? So again, staying with the color pattern, I'm gonna use these date squares um, and I will go through and later and trim them because they are a little wide and they are covering up the words. Um, but if you can get your hands on one of these journaling books, um, sticker books, try to find it because you can use them, especially, I hate to keep putting my T in ways on y'all. However, for those that do have traveler's notebooks along with their happy planners, this sticker book, the journal sticker book is perfect because it has date covers. It has the different date squares, date dots, <laughs> just date covers in general, it'll, it'll, um, along with some other um, things that you can use in your travel's notebook as well. Um, so as I stated, I was going to go through and trim the size of these date squares so you can see the days of the week. And if I have to say one thing that I like about the dashboard layout is on the right side of it you really don't have to do much to it um, this spread I mean this layout is designed so you can specifically you know write the things to do it reminds me more of a things to do kind of um, layout um, so if you wanted to decorate it just add a little bit of washi kind of like how I do in my faith planners just a little bit of washi to bring a little bit of decoration and if you do um, use this for like your build do, you can use some build do stickers. Um, I think icon stickers would be perfect in this um, layout because you have your space is kind of limited per day, so you don't want to fill your days up too much, um, and then you don't have anywhere to write. So you could do all your deco on the left side, and then kind of bleed in or fade in a little bit on the right side. All right, loves, that's it. I am going to add a flower to this relaxing weekend banner, and then I am parting you farewell. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a big old thumbs up, drop me a comment below, and as well, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video or live stream. As well, if this video has inspired you, share this with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan, and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.